Hello friends, welcome back to Database Academy. So in this video, I'm going to cover the PLSQL interview question part two. So if you, if you have not yet seen the part one, you can visit my channel or I'll put my put the part one link in the description section, which you can refer. Okay, so we'll start the interview questions for part two. So the very first question that may interviewer can ask like what is the difference between function and procedures. So in function it calculate the result based on given input. But in procedure it performs certain task in order. So function generally we use to do some kind of calculation. There is no DML operation we are doing here like DML in the sense insert, update, delete that kind of things we are not doing in the function but in the procedures we are doing some kind of task like inserting, updating some records and deleting some record that kind of task we are performing in the procedures. Second difference is function can be called in a select, a select a statement. So if we have a function we can call it in a select a statement but procedure cannot be called from a SQL statement. So let's understand. So I have a procedure proc1 and function func get sum. Okay. So in that I am doing just taking the two input parameters and adding and just displaying the output. In procedure also I am doing the same thing taking two input and there is one output and then just doing the sum of the two variable and printing okay so uh, let's try to execute this one first one the function so it's returning me 3 okay so the sum of 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 which is returning 3 here if I try to execute the procedure it will throw me error because this procedure cannot be called in a select a statement so that's the difference third difference is function does not support try catch block but in procedure we can implement the try catch block also for exception handling fourth is function must return values and procedure can return a value using in out or out parameter Okay, so here in the function you have seen that it needs a return. So this is a return keyword and which data type we are returning the values. So it is always required that function must return a values. And here in the procedure we are using out parameter to sending some values. So it's it is not mandatory that this out parameter will be always there we can take only in parameter without any output also so procedure may or may not return the values next difference is function can be called using a procedure so we can call a function using a procedure but procedure cannot be called using any function so that's the difference so DML cannot be performed inside the function. As I said that we cannot do a DML operation like insert, update, delete, this kind of task we cannot perform in the function. And in procedure we can perform the DML operation. Right. The last difference is the function cannot return multiple result set. So it always return a single values. A procedure can return multiple result set using this we can use out in now we can use multiple out parameter to provide the multiple result set so these are the difference between function and procedure let's go to the next question so the next question that interviewer can ask like what are the various type of parameter in the PLSQL so there are three types of parameter 
which is used in function or procedures. So this is in when we are the in parameter allow you to send value to a procedure that is being called. The in parameter can be set to default value. It it behaves as a constant and cannot be changed. Okay, so in parameter we use when we are going to take the inputs as a in parameter for that purpose we use out parameter when we are going to return a value to a call in out so in so in out parameter is used when there is one parameter only which will accept also and which will return also return the values in that case we can use in out parameter so in the procedure let's see that in function here you will see that I have mentioned as an in because we are providing some values here 1 and 2 so this is in if we, if we if I don't mention also it will work because by default Oracle takes in parameter only if we don't define ok but if we are defining as an out we must define this out parameter also we can use a one more variable v in out v in out parameter in out this will be as in number let's create this okay so this is got this got created if I so we can use in out parameter also so here it it can accept the value and it can return the value as well this variable so we have these three parameters for the function and procedures next question that interviewer can ask what is store procedure so store procedure is a sequence of a statement or named PLSQL block. Named PLSQL block that means because we have saved in a database and it has a name that perform one or more specific function. So we are doing some kind of process we are doing inside the procedure. Next question is what is the overloading of a procedure? So overloading that means when the name of same procedure is repeated with the parameter of different data type and parameter is different place then that is referred to as a procedure over look okay so the next question that interviewer may ask like why do we use index in a table so index whenever we create a primary key on a table by default it creates an index the purpose of creating index is to get the record faster and improve the performance of a selected statement performance of a selected statement next question that interviewer can ask like how will you debug the PLSQL code so at the initial stage we need we can debug the code using this dbms output and dbms debug so dbms output will print the output in a console so console in the sense like this is your console here what we are seeing here so for dbms output will print output in a console so let's add dbms output dot put underscore line and we are printing the total of num1 and num2 in a procedure okay let's on this procedure so this is a PLSQL block inside I have created three variables for num1 num2 in the output putting as in 10 20 and it will return the sum of 10 plus 20 so here 10 output is showing the display here so when we execute this will this total is showing 30 which is there in the procedure ok and this v out is showing which is using here in the PLSQL 
block let's execute one more time okay so we are getting the output so this is how we can use a dbms output for a debug to debug the code now second thing is dbms underscore debug that also we can use to debug our code but the output will be in a log file and to enable this we need to do some configuration i'll put link how to configure this dbms debug in the description section you can refer that so the next question the interviewer may ask like what is package so package is package is a collections of related function and procedure you can say that because all function and procedure are related to each other for a fun specific functionality you can also say that package are a group of logical related function procedure variable records type statements so which include like so many of so many variables constant cursor exception procedures and many things inside the package now now let's see the next question the what what is the advantage of using package why we should use a package so very so the very first benefit is it helps the making the code modular second is provide security by hiding the implementation detail so let's say i have a own i am granting a specification only to someone and i, I don't providing the access to the body part so he can see only the specification part only he cannot see the actual code which is running in the body section it helps in improving the function fourth is make it easy to use pre compiled code next benefit is make it easy to use the pre compiled code next can be used as an easy to maintain the code as i said that if all codes are in the single package so then it is easier for developer to maintain the code instead of going so many independent stand alone procedure functions it will get he will get a codes in a single package and he is it is easy to maintain allow the user to get quick authorization and access if we provide the package access he will he can access all the procedure and functions that we have defined inside the package next question that interviewer can ask like a can we create a package body without a specification we answer is no we cannot create a package body without a specification we need to create a specification first then is then package body second question may ask like is it mandatory to create all function procedure body which are in specification the answer is no it is not next question that can be asked like what is global and private variable in the package so variable which are defined in the specification are called global variable which can be access outside of the package also so if we define any variable in the specification so that can be access from the outside of the package also local variable which are defined in the package body or inside a function procedure these are accessible inside the body only that cannot be access outside okay now let's see the tricky question that interviewer can ask like you need to write some queries based on some scenarios so how can we solve this let's see the questions so there is two table a customer and the sales person you need to write a select statement in which in a single column customer and person name both should be displayed in a single column also add a new column in which for customer it will show c and for sales person it should 
display as an S as an indicator so that we can get to know that okay this is a customer name and this is a salesperson name so how can we write a select statement so the answer is we can use union or union all to display the customer and salesperson name in a single column and indicator column as also so here select customer name C we have mentioned as an indicator from customer a union select salesperson S indicator from salesperson if we check output it will display the both name in a single column and indicator C for customer and S for salesperson so that's the end of this part 2 session if you learn something new in this video then please subscribe my channel and thank you so much for watching my video